everybody, I'm Adam. I'm Michael. I didn't do anything weird that time. Right. And today we're going to talk about Annabelle 7. Which one is this? <laughs> How many have there been? Annabelle Homecoming. This is... I don't, what wait, no. This is, is, this, is this a Spider-Man movie? Oh, Annabelle wait. Homecoming? Oh, I know. Oh, Annabelle Comes Home. <laughs> uh, Annabelle Comes Home. With Spider-Man. And Midsummer. Yes, that's correct. Because um, we're bored in Ohio. you're gonna go because we're bored <laughs> that's what we're watching Annabelle we're, comes home yeah <laughs> well, i thought you were gonna stop at Annabelle comes i'm like whoa <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know we were reviewing, reviewing those kind of movies she is a doll yeah could oh, be one of those God. yeah it could be one of those just some dude going to town on a doll yeah uh, oh. i just don't want to do the cleanup ew ew that's why I don't use those fleshlight things, or that's what they're called, right? Pocket, I don't know, pocket man. Pocket vaginas. Why would you do that? Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, we're Annabelle talking about comes home. Annabelle you know, comes home. What irritated and, me? Oh, uh, and Midsummer. Midsummer. And once again, like usual, I haven't seen, I wouldn't have seen these movies anyway, because I have no goddamn interest. Well, uh, Kara will not see Midsummer. It's the same guy that did Hereditary. Okay. She didn't see that yet. And neither no. did you, right? You, you should definitely watch the film. It, this, guy's got a, this guy's got a interesting... I thought you didn't really like that movie. No, I did. I did. It's 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 weird. I like his... I like his... These are his stories. Like, he's... And I like his way he directs. It's... Okay. They're unsettling. All right. So, are we talking about Annabelle first? Let's talk about that first. Which... How many... Is this... This is the second or third at one of these fucking movies. Let's see. There was Annabelle... Annabelle, Annabelle, the beginning, or something like that, and then now this is Annabelle comes home. But they they tied this one. So the, I think the other two were prequels, and this one's tied directly into to the, when they went to the Conjuring universe when they first brought her home. Okay. Rather than when you saw the first Conjuring film and she's already there, but they do a little intro to what she is first. Okay. This one's when they literally pick her up. So they they cut to when they're in the apartment from the first Conjuring film with the two girls and the guy. Mm-hmm. They cut back to that b- begins there, and they take the doll and bring it, and it literally starts when they're driving her home. What pisses me off is that this movie looked like, even though it is a focus on their daughter, that the Warrens were going to be in this film more than they are, more than they are, and mm-hmm. they're not. They're in it. What? Maybe fifteen, twenty minutes total. This overlap with that scene from the first uh, Conjuring when. With the knock knock in the room and all that stuff, with the, the apartment? When the, yeah, when, well, in the, like in their like little special room where they have all their relics. This is. Does this it is, overlap with that? Oh, yeah, that she's in, it's in the room. Yeah, so it, it's the drive no, I'm saying like they had a scene in the first one. Yeah. Where like the doll went missing or some shit, didn't they? Yeah. Well, does it, it overlap it, with that specific made, scene? No. Okay. It, that's a different. But I was just curious because that would be an interesting. Well, that's exactly what thing. happens this thing. They bring it home. Yeah. Then the Warrens go on vacation or some shit or to something they had to go to, and they leave a babysitter with her daughter. And then mm-hmm. the babysitter has a friend who comes over because she knows the Warrens are these. And, like, gets in that room and shit. She gets in the room and touches everything and lets Annabelle out. So here's the thing that pisses me off with these Conjuring Universe stuff. Uh, I like the first two films. The I, Annabelle uh, ones? No, 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 the Conjuring. All the Conjuring, okay. But... It, there's no point when I'm watching these movies where I think someone's going to die, like really die, because yeah. one the 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 actual story of the event that happened, no one really died. So let's not make something up and have someone die where they didn't, because that kind of ruins the authenticity of it. Okay, I get that. Don't do that. But when you're making it up, like this is a, they're making it up. This this shit didn't happen. You know. Yeah. Uh, do something that makes you worried that something really bad's about to happen instead of mm-hmm. just these weird jump scares the whole time because I don't know how this got such a high approval score because it was not good. Okay. I mean... So, do, I mean, do you want them to kill somebody in it? I only ask because given 
what world it's grounded in yeah and that that those don't really happen it's more just like spooky things yeah i feel like that would break like what's well, like the in, formula in, the theme in the first one the witch mm-hmm. she wants the mother to kill the child the children yeah so at least you were that was there was the like a threat there's a threat the whole time of okay. her trying to get uh, her possessioning possessing and then trying to get her to do that this one's no it's just annabelle fucking with people that's it there, you know there's no like overarching like motivation no okay it's i got a question about these like yeah possessed or ghosts or whatever type yeah. movies where are all the ghosts handing out blowjobs like from ghostbusters yes where the we're like yes like the ghost of a porn star that's just like i got unfinished business <laughs> You know what? She doesn't have to swallow there, either. Because there are so many other dicks in the world that I have not seen. <laughs> that's what I'd be doing. Not the dick part. But if I could be walking around unseen, that's what I'm doing. I wonder what that looks like. You're a goddamn like. animal. <laughs> what else am I going to fucking do? Well, that and I'll sit in the movie theater. What else am I going to do? If you're a ghost? Yeah. I don't know. It'd be the same thing as if I went to a strip club, which I don't. I don't understand why people go to strip clubs. You're showing up there. You're not allowed to touch anything. You're just giving yourself sexual frustration. Okay? It's the same thing if you're a ghost. If you're wandering into people's homes just to see some naked bodies, you're giving yourself a ton of sexual frustration, and you can't take care of any of it. And you can't touch anybody. So it's worse. But, like, they'll, they'll, you pass through them, whatever, they, they feel, like, a little cold. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to be in there checking out ladies. All of a sudden, they get, like, really cold at their nips. Oh, nice. And they're like... I just think I got me too. <laughs> yeah. Except they're not seeing my junk hanging out. This went really dark. <laughs> this this, this, this went wrong. sideways. I have a daughter. What the fuck's wrong with you? You're the one that's saying if you're a ghost, you're going to go like look at people's nipples and shit. No, I said to see what that looks like. I didn't necessarily say nipples. Oh, come on. <laughs> you're right. You'd just be comparing your nipples to everybody else's to see if you can find somebody with smaller nipples than you. I don't think that's possible no. unless you're an infant. <laughs> okay, back to back to Annabelle. Yeah, let's come home with it's, Annabelle. It's just, look, I, I, did you see the other Annabelle movies? No, I, I couldn't even bring myself. So you you only watched this one because it had a connection. To I could, the I knew I could watch it, um, and I didn't have to see the previous bullshit. Okay, because of the the connecting piece. Okay, um, but you know these movies must be super cheap to make. Oh yeah, if they keep doing them, it's this yeah. It's the same fucking room with the same house. It's just, you know, now... And they don't leave the house. They went outside. Mm. You know, there's all these things. They could have done something really, really out of the world creepy with this room, right? There's so much shit in there with all this possessed shit, Mm -hmm. right? So much. And they give you a little bit... Like, one thing that that they... There's this book, I guess, that summons a werewolf spirit ghost thing, right? Okay. And you would think that maybe they would do a little more with that than having it appear from mist in the yard and it's completely digital yeah and stupid it looks it looked a lot like that fucking really shitty looking werewolf from the um van helsing movie okay it did not look good i'm like you put no i mean just use a fucking guy in a fucking costume man that would the stuff the ones from underworld look good those are costumes Mm -hmm. do that God, I'm so sick of CGI. Um, but no, he's out in the yard running around. There's, They did nothing with that. You know, there's some chase. It sounds like this movie is like jumping the shark a little bit, at least. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I can't really say because I haven't seen the other Annabelle movies, but I have seen The Conjuring. And yeah. if they're like getting into like misty werewolf apparitions, that's fucking weird. It was weird. Yeah. And, and, you know, they, they they say it's because Annabelle's basically a conduit. She pulls in more stuff and heightens, yeah. powers them, basically. Yeah. It's, it's just fucking dumb. They, they could have done so much terribly creepy shit with this, and they didn't do anything with it. Now, when do you think that franchise will really sell out and do an Annabelle versus Chucky crossover? Oh. <laughs> Dude, 
Chucky will just be confused, like, the bitch doesn't move. <laughs> she stares at you. She just stares at me. Like, am I supposed to fight this thing? What's happening? Is, it, is that a is that a werewolf made out of, like, mist? Is that scary? It's stupid, all right? It was stupid. <laughs> Do you know the you know the you know the big samurai um, uh, armor that's in that room? You mm-hmm. might remember it from seeing it in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just appears places, and its head turns. Like you don't see a head, but the armor turns to look at you. That's all that fucking thing did. I'll just feel protected. <laughs> it's just the samurai were a good group. They had the uh, the ninjas were the bad ones. Yeah. They had the little, the you know, they showed the little carousel, little do 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 for the mm-hmm. first Conjuring. It's on the shelf. They make a point to show it. They don't do anything with it. Like, she's releasing all kinds of shit from this thing, but not that one. And you know about that one. You know what that means. They're going to have a carousel movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was just stupid. All right? It was dumb. And the, the whole reason why the girlfriend wanted to come into the house anyway... It's because her dad died, and she needed some sort of way to talk to him again to make sure he didn't hate her. Yeah. So she was trying to, like... That's why she was snooping and stuff. something. She was trying to use something to summon him. As a medium. Yep. That's fucking dumb. Yep, it was dumb. All kinds of dumb, 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 dumb. So I'm going to guess that you give this an F. (laughs) Are you going to be a little kinder to it? I'll give it a D. Yeah, no, I just give it a D. Okay. If they did anything cool with this at all at any time in that, or made me think, well, shit, somebody might be in some trouble here at any point, I, maybe I get a D plus. No, nothing. There's nothing there. All right. So don't see that movie. Yeah. So yeah. Just watch the first two Conjuring films. Yeah. Don't watch the movie. <laughs> I did it for you. Yeah, Mike did it for you. So do not bring Annabelle home. Uh, <laughs> well done there. Thank nice. you. Nice. So, I mean, let's move on to Midsummer. Midsummer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you know anything about this movie at all? I know what the poster looks like. <laughs> Is it have to do with like a cult? Kind of. It's my people. They're Nordic. Oh, I thought you were going to say like... So... Goshen. Um, I'm not going to, I want you to see this movie, so I'm not going to give away, I'm not going to tell you anything I don't want you to know, because I want you to see it and experience it. But basically, um, this, uh, the movie's really focusing on a, a group of, uh, f- one, two, three, four, four male friends. One of them has a girlfriend that's a little bit mm-hmm. nuts. Well, little, uh. She's, I shouldn't say she's not. She's depressed. She has problems. She has issues. And for okay. good reason. Her mental health. Mental health stuff. As well as uh, dealing with her sister who had mental health issues. And, uh, and, and anyway, the tragedy, family members died. And she's trying to deal with it. And these four guys, her boyfriend's been trying to break up with her for a while. Because he just can't deal yeah. with it. How, how do you? How do you... But, right. So he yeah. can't bring himself to do it. The friends don't really like her. But they've been planning to go on this trip. Mm-hmm. Um. To go see a bunch of Norwegian hot, you know, to, to, it's par- part of it for two guys to work on their thesis for college, but also it's a good excuse to go out there and see some hot chicks. One of the guys that lives with them is from there, so he's just an exchange student, and uh, so he said, "Look, I know a perfect place we can go." Tells you know all this stuff. They're going. Her parents uh, pass away, the girls, and uh, tragically fucked up tragically but mm-hmm. anyway he feels really bad doesn't want to break up there so he's like you want to if you want you want to come with us and so she's like yeah yeah i would like to come with you so the so anyway they she ends up going with them on this supposed to be a male bonding trip or whatever but um what this guy does that lives there is uh, or from there he takes them to his home uh, mm-hmm. homeland which is it's basically like um it's basically like a cult. I mean, the, the, these people okay. live a specific certain way. They dress in old ways, but they're very cultural that way. Okay. So they show up, and there's this very basic, think the village, 
the way that they've built a small Mm -hmm. town area. It's kind of secluded. Yes. And yes. And the time that he has chosen to take his friends there was during one of their um, big celebrations that they do. Um, The harvest. uh, (laughs) Kind of. (laughs) Um, How do I want to do this? So... You can, when they get there right off the bat, you can kind of tell these people are a little off. Mm-hmm. Like there's something, not only the fact that they're um, they're foreigners. Well, yeah. really, you're the foreigner because you're going to their country. But you know what I'm saying. Uh, they do things very differently, but they try to acclimate with it. Um, then uh, they start going through their rituals they're, 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 because this is their annual. I think I, I want to say they say it's nine, every 90 years. It doesn't sound right to me, though. I'm saying that chronologically, when you see the Saying ages, ninety, yeah, every ninety years they do this specific celebration. Which that when I'm looking weird. at the, when I'm looking at the people, the age groups, right, that live there, because mm-hmm. they don't leave there. Like the people, the, right. the people. There's two guys that did, or well, they, I think they really focus on two guys that were that are from there, but they went mm-hmm. to college. Um, he said ninety years, but anyway, there's a whole. Like there's some older people, some younger people that live there, um, but they it's based on some of uh, Viking lore, like okay. They, you know, all stuff. Anyway, um, so the celebration starts. Something happens. Some really fucked up shit happens, and then of course because of this fucked up shit that happens, and then the people there, the, the, everyone wants to leave, especially the girl, the old, and, and everyone like what the fuck? We're not, you know. And then they're like, well, you have to understand, this is our this is our culture. This is what we do. And what happened was their choice and all this other shit. I don't want to ruin it for you. Mm-hmm. But you stay. And then stuff gets worse and worse and worse and worse. It, it's it's done in a very... You, if you've seen Hereditary, you completely get what I'm trying to say without saying it. But it's it's the way that he take makes something unsettling and fucked up. But by the end of the film, you kind of like... I kind of get it. I kind of can understand, you know, yeah. why this person has decided to shift and change their thinking process to be, this is actually not okay. I mean, this is okay. I can understand. If this is the way you are, this is the way you are. Yeah. And, and then just go with it. But it's a, uh, it's fucked up. It's so good. But it's just, your wife would never be able to make it through these films. <laughs> um, n- never. So I'm trying to say, how, how can it help me here? How can I talk about this without... The film is shot very well. It's shot almost entirely in broad, bright daylight mm-hmm. for a thriller. It's a, it's more, it's not horror horror. It's more of a thriller, right? Which is not usual. Usually, there's a bunch of the scary shit or whatever. The weird stuff happens at night. Yeah. I liked how he flipped that. Okay. To everything being, you're seeing it. Is is the director along. also the writer? Yes. Okay. Same guy that did yeah for, for both. Okay. Um. But uh, there is a there's a prepare yourself. There is a lot of full frontal nudity, like hits you in the face with it. You want like to see vaginas, you want to see shaved or not shaved or breasts, young and old, uh, cock and balls. You're right up your alley here, buddy. But it's for a reason that you see it. It's not it's not for show. Because you know I hate it when people show nudity or a sex scene just because oh we need to fit one in here. That's mm-hmm. not. Got to get our quota of uh, tits in the movie. Me off when they do that. Don't show it unless there's a reason to show it. This there's a it is for a reason. Um, but uh, there's some stuff that's hard to look at. But it's I'm telling you, man, it's it's well done. I really like the movie. I really like this guy. I'm interested to see what else he comes out with. But you've got to see Hereditary to understand how weird. Think of um, what's what's the one guy uh, Wes Anderson. You know, he has his own kind of weird, funky films. Yeah, I hate Wes Anderson. Okay, but I'm saying, think of how he's quirky. Like, his stories are just kind of, they're just oh, yeah, off, you, a little you off. Know, yeah, you know a Wes Anderson film when you see it. When you, you you're going to know this guy's films without even seeing who the director is, just by watching whatever story you're currently watching. He's like that, but in a in a very darker tone. Okay, so he has a very specific style. Very specific style, and his stories are very fucking weird. But weird, fucking weird. <laughs> but, I, but I like I like the stories he's telling. They're interesting. They're off takes. They're not typical horror thriller like you normally get. And the endings are always fucking weird. But they look 
that guy use his guy he's got a cool style especially mm-hmm. in this film especially in this film okay I don't know what else to tell you about it I don't want to tell you anything because I want you to see it all right all right anyway anyone else I'm gonna tell you definitely if if you're not queasy about seeing if you're open-minded go see the film <laughs> That was <laughs> open. I don't mean open cryptic. minded. It's it's. I'm just. It, if you're if you're not uh, you know afraid of seeing uh, well, if you're open minded, <laughs> it's like oh, what do I have to be okay seeing? <laughs> um, like for example, if someone was to die, mm-hmm. you're going to watch them die how they died without the camera cutting away. Okay. And uh, and they give you. Does it get into like? Does it does does it do any like nasty like body gore shit? Hostile shit. Yeah. It's not. It's not up to where hostile is. Where hostile is like we're gonna rip your nail off, and then they show you grab the nail and then slowly rip Mm -hmm. it out. No, it's not like that. There is there is. um, Fuck it. Somebody gets some. They take. It's old school. Like you know the the old mythical weapons. The way that this 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 people. So so one of these people person is it they're dying like they're they're but they're not dead yet so Mm -hmm. they didn't they haven't died yet so they walk over the big ass fucking hammer and smash the guy's skull in Mm. you see that okay Um, and they hit it several times (laughs) they make sure you see it and then that's it but it's because they want you to experience what those people that came there from college were experiencing were experienced they wanted you to feel like you're like what the fuck they didn't want it to seem. I, I gotcha. know why you did it. Um, my <laughs> my problem with some of those things, though, is like because you were like they see some fucked up shit, yeah, and then they're like, "We need to get the fuck out of here," yeah. and they are somehow convinced to stay. I will say that some of them were not convinced. Okay, so there are some people that are like, "No, no, we're leaving. Like we're packing our shit and going," and they go, ish. <laughs> They go ish. You don't expect, you don't respect our culture, you're going to become part of it. <laughs> yes. I mean, we got hammer time right over there, you know? I don't know. Whenever I'd like, when I picture like cult stuff, I always do that kind of voice. <laughs> the hickish. Yeah, the hick, hick kind of thing. West, oh, oh, I shouldn't, shouldn't disrespect West Virginia, but I'm just saying that's where it kind of sounds like it's from. Like from the sticks. From the sticks, yeah. You thought the hammer time was a problem. Wait till we get to like uh, meat grinder time. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, that, that's usually one of my problems with movies. Like, where they're like, okay, that was weird, but we'll hang out a bit. Yeah. At least they had people go, but yeah, they probably got their dicks chopped off or so, something later. Well, they do make sense out of it. Uh, two of two of the people in particular, their thesis was on. Uh, one of them was specifically on about that Norwegian, culture. Norwegian culture, and this was one they'd never heard of. So he was like, "Look, I know this is fucked up, but I, I need to get permission from them because I this is this is this is it. This is for it for me." Does it end like so? It, it ends. Let's say of our five people yeah. that went right because it's four dudes and one chick. Yeah, well, but remember one of the one of the four dudes is actually from there. Okay, but, so he he survives. Maybe. Go on. Maybe yeah. he's an example of, like, the culture. I don't know. It's like, welcome to my culture. <laughs> well, I don't know what that voice was. And then they, like, they hammer his dick or something. And then they're like, whoa, they hammered his dick. He's like, it's okay. It's my culture. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, well, okay. Of the people that came that aren't from there. Yeah. Four. Let's say two make it out at the end. Okay. Is this... <laughs> my, my, I'm imagining... Like they get at the end of this, you know, festival. I'm going to call it a festival. Sure. A festival okay. of Vikings. Okay. Uh, and they made it. And they're like, okay. I, I, we got weird shit. It's like, you know. Yeah. I'm German Catholic, you know. Yeah. When we kneel in church. Weird, right? <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, you know, good on you. Uh, thank you for letting me into your uh, world. Yeah. And they're like, you know what? We really appreciate your appreciation of us. Have a good rest of your summer. And then they leave. And it's like a mutual appreciation. Like, 
okay, they got us. They didn't judge us for our culture. And they just let them go. And then once those people are gone, they're like, man, that was fucked up. Never going to another Viking festival ever again. It's just simple as that. You get to the end of the festival. If you, if you make it to the end of the festival, next day it's just like they go back to like working at Geico or whatever the fuck they're doing. And then they just like, okay, thanks for coming to the festival. That's how you want it to be? Yeah. That's kind of how I want it to be. <laughs> I mean. With the setup that you gave me, like this is our big cultural event for yeah. It's a, it hasn't happened in 90 years, and somehow we passed it on to our generations without, like, I guess if you just read about it or... Yeah. I would think with that much separation in time between festivals, something would get lost in translation. Uh, yeah. um, but anyway, so you set it up like you're like, oh, yeah, this is our festival, and, like, we have well, we have outsiders. They might judge us, you know? And the ones that do get their dicks hammered. And the ones that don't, they're like... They get us. Well, these people aren't bad, and they let them go. When, when the first thing happens, yeah, um, and everyone was like, "What the?" And there, and then the one of the elders yells at the one, the guy that that came with them. He's mm-hmm. like, "Did you not tell them about our our, our culture?" And and what? And then he's like, "No, I didn't. I didn't. I wanted to kind of experience." It. He he yells at him for it because like mm-hmm. they're freaking out. They didn't know what to expect, and this is why you can't do that. Uh, you have to kind of explain a little bit about what, what what's to come, and so they don't yeah, so, so they don't like lose like, yeah. their goddamn minds. But, but the guy that came with them wanted to kind of experience it themselves. Yeah, that guy sounds like a dick. He sounds like a dick. <laughs> it's like I want you to see the film. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to make a Dick Cheney joke, which is just way outdated. It'd be like you know. Dick Cheney's hunting partner wanting you to come hunt with Dick Cheney, not letting you know that he's shot a guy on accident before. <laughs> Just wants you to experience for itself. Sure. And then Dick Cheney shoots in and he's like, oh shit, you didn't warn him I'm not a good shot? So I just want him to experience it. Right. I, just... <laughs> I want him to be scared shitless like I was. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this sounds like a fucked up movie. It's fucked up, but it's, 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 man, I just really like this guy's style. I okay. like it. I like it. So what what grade would you give this one? Oh, this, um, if I did not see the ending ending exactly down to the last frame like I thought it would, I'd give it an A. I'm gonna give it an A minus. I'm though, not sure I understood your reasoning there. Like, did you say you saw it coming I, or the, the end? Yeah, I kind of knew. Or I kind of thought. So it's Early not the on. ending that I said. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I kind they don't of like give like, them like a like a you know like a I survive Viking festival T shirt and they <laughs> yeah. I kind of uh, like from early on early on the get go. I'm like, okay, I can kind of see this ending like that. So hopefully it doesn't. End, I mean, the ending makes complete sense. Yeah. But I was kind of hoping a little more of a twist that I didn't see coming, which that rarely happens with me anyway. But you know. A minus. I really right. enjoyed it. I'll have to give it a shot. Is Hereditary available on any of the streaming services for free? I oh, I think it's on Prime. I'll have to check it out. Um, Kara is not going to make it through that film. That's fine. I I, I I'm getting that from your comments. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll just watch it. I mean, I would love for her to watch it and open her mind a little bit, and uh, just I don't. Uh, there's going to be one scene in particular she's going to get to, and she's going to be like, out. I'm out right now. <laughs> She's just gonna leave. I can. I can definitely tell you that. All right. We'll see. I, I'll. I'll probably just watch it by myself. All right. Uh. Yeah. Um. It's weird because we're doing. The, you guys don't know what we were recording two back to back. I want to be like, what do you got going on, bud? But nothing has changed <laughs> since forty five minutes ago. Yeah, I'm still doing nothing. I'm tell, recording t- with you. Tell me a fun fact about yourself. That you think our, our listeners would be interested in? What the fuck kind Come of on. question is that? A fun fact about We gotta myself. leave them with something about ourselves. I like horror movies. I, I collect horror toys. You do collect horror toys. I have a lot of horror toys. And I got a lot of Spider-Man toys. And I mean toys like most of Speaking of which. Box. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you a question after oh. we're done recording. Uh, fun fact about me. Um, there were times... 
when I used to live at my parents' house. I get dropped off at home, kind of drunk, and I lived in the basement. And I, I didn't, you know, I turn, I would turn the lights on, but I'm like in my mind, there could be a killer down there. Oh yeah. So what I would do when I would walk down the stairs is I would kick my feet out real far in front of me when I took the <laughs> steps. So if they hopped out at me, they'd get a fucking Boot foot to the right to the fucking face. I win. That's fucking hilarious. I would love to have seen you do this. <laughs> <laughs> your tall, fucking gangly ass whipping your feet out as you're going down the steps. That, I mean, that's a true story. I did that all the fucking time. What I would do, so I would not be uh, scared of the dark at all. If I was ever afraid, I would go into the basement or room or whatever it was, turn everything off and make myself stand in complete darkness for 15 minutes. Just hearing whatever the hell else might have been going on in there. And I had to be in pitch black. So whatever was down there could see me if it wanted to, but I couldn't see it. There's something fucking wrong with you. <laughs> Serious. That's a fun fact. Nobody do that. <laughs> He does not recommend. I do not recommend. That, that is the Viking festival of <laughs> how to deal with the dark. <laughs> okay, so until next time, thank you for letting us. I don't even know what to say. I want to say. I you don't have say, to say I always anything. want to say get up in you because that just makes me well, then say horny. It. <laughs> and I like to say it when I'm staring at you. Until next time, thank you for... Letting Adam and I all up in you, because we're born in Ohio. Did you notice the sultry voice there at the end? Of yeah, you went, yeah. Is it, does it do anything for you? Nothing. What about the little... <clears throat> a little more scratchy and soft when nope. i talk like that it's, you can almost hear the wetness of my tongue like it's licking your ear while i'm talking to you like sliding from the low bucket. i feel like i need an adult